Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second film in um, my Dario Argento week and tonight we're looking at Opera. Now this 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 um, edition um, comes from my um, Symphony of Fear box set Dario Argento. Um, now this is one of his a bit later into his career after his early films we looked at an early one and this is one that come round far from the sort of suspicious sort of time period of his work and this is an absolute delight of a film um absolutely love it and it is one of my favorite argento films um it it's a very creative sort of film and it's it's amazing in the sense of like the soundtrack i am an absolute sucker for opera i love opera i really do you probably wouldn't think it you know because i'm into my my rock music and everything but i absolutely adore opera and so this is close to heart so in this film throughout the film in the background you've got a lot of sort of um opera sort of music playing over the top of the film and you also get some scenes from an opera because this is about a young standing girl who's standing in for an opera singer who's been sort of knocked over by a car and um and obviously this opera singer is very very resentful um because she's um being replaced by her standing and this is over an opera of um shakespeare's macbeth um so it's all but quite a dark opera and it even has live ravens in the, in the opera show and it's very very dramatic opera and it's a very very cool opera um in in this young this young sort of girl this is her first um time to hit the stage because she's just a standing um she 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 took the place of the uh singer because the director of the um the opera believes she he, she knows the the play or the opera inside out and there's no one more perfect to take a place anyway so she has her first sort of premiere night and it's a full house and it's an absolutely stunning stunning opera house and it's absolutely amazing and um as she's on stage, there's we get our usual um, Dario Argento first person killer um, photography, where he is like in working his way around the um, circle, which is what so a theatre is. You got your stalls, which is your downstairs, and then you got your circle and balcony, which is right at the top, and it, and. Along with a circle, you get boxes around the sides, um, which are normally meant for prestige sort of people and royalty and stuff like that, and people that pay a lot of prices to go in a box. I've been in a box a couple of times, um, for once for an opera show, once for a, a, a rock concert at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, and we, we we see our killer arrive into one of the boxes, and he's here watching our our sort of standing on stage. And as he's watching, he's sort of joined by one of the staff and an, an usher or whatever they were called there in Italy. I don't know. Anyway, he's he's been interrupted, and this usher is asking him what's he doing in there, and he attacks the usher, and in a lighting rig that is set up by this box falls down onto the floor ground which makes everybody in the theatre sort of stand up and makes the opera stop as they're wondering what's going on and the director of the opera tells her him and the orchestra to carry on it's just an accident carry on carry on so they carry on with the opera and that carries on on and then the sort of audience settle down to watch but while that's going the usherette's getting killed upstairs by our killer and our killer is the typical black gloved killer of all sort of giallo sort of films um and he gets a rather nasty end and the the, the show's an absolute success and she absolutely smashed it and she's fantastic uh really really cool um 
and she's getting a lot of praise and lots of everyone saying how how magnificent she is except back at home we cut to at home we see the, the opera singer with the broken leg from the accident she throws her glass at the tv so she's obviously one of our suspects or or, or something along those lines at this stage of the film and the police are around to investigate and stuff like that and our opera singer's got like a a, a boyfriend who's like one of the stage hands of, of, of the of the theater and she's she's relaxing at her place with him and a massive sort of like noise sort of occurs sorry about that my phone was ringing uh, noise occurs and um he goes to investigate it and our killer's in the room and grabs our girl and ties her up and he does the most sort of like um malicious thing to her really he gets these um pins that he's he's sort of like got onto tape um and he stuck them under her eyes here so she cannot close her eyes so she has to watch what's going to go on so she's tied up with these under her eyes her her boyfriend returns to the room um and uh goes to try and help and then is killed by our killer very very gruesomely very gory film um and he's killed really really violently and she has to watch it and then the killer sort of cuts the uh, ropes that she's tied up and goes so she's still alive so he's made her or she has made her witness to kill him and then the film sort of investigates down this line all these sort of people around this show are getting killing a lot of time people think it's to do with the show because it's Macbeth which is supposed to be a curse sort of show but no all this sort of stuff's going on and it's an absolute wonderful film um, I'm not going to tell you any more of the synopsis, but it's such a wonderful film, and it's so extremely, um, incredibly filmed and set out. And I just love the format. Uh, I love opera, like I said, so it's got that extra connection with me, uh, um, and I absolutely adore the film. And it's so lavishly, elegantly filmed in a, in a beautiful environment. It's just... It's just a, it's just an absolute joy to watch. Um, the pluses of this edition it still looks really it looks it looks amazing, looks nice. Um, it's really really cool. It, I would love to get this on 4K. I think it would be absolutely amazing. I think this is a 2K print, um, but it looks absolutely stunning. Stellar cast, really well acted. Um, it's and I think because uh, obviously. Argento is an Italian director and this is all in Italy, Italian actors and the Italians have a real passion for opera. I think that shows in this film and it comes across and I think that's what makes this film even more special. Um, the way it's sort of like um, you can see that element in, in the film and I just really enjoyed every minute of it. Um, absolutely fantastic film uh the minuses of the film it, it's it there isn't none to me but it is quite a slow film it's a giallo film so it's going to be that little bit slow but it's so edge of the seat gripping um horror film absolutely amazing love it so i'm gonna score um opera an incredible watch and give it a 9 out of 10. I was going to give it a 10 out of 10, but um, something inside of me just thought, no, it's not a 10 out of 10 film. It's very close, but it, but it's not. Um, it just... I, I think it's because I, I know it's not going to be for everyone. Um and I think that's why I've scored it as 9 and 10. For me, it, it's perfect. I absolutely love it. But for a lot of people, I know it wouldn't appeal to them because of, like, the um, the opera sort of storyline and the stage, the theatre sort of thing. And, and a lot of films don't do too well around that 
sort of genre like there was another incredible film not a, not an argento film um but based around the ballet with um i can't remember the actress name i'm sure it was natalie portman in it and i'm sure it was called black swan i don't know if any of you guys seen that but i loved that film too um but this is sort of like a really early version of that but more gory and more argento style um <laughs> So, absolutely fantastic. Opera, 9 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you thought of it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. There's just so many good Argento films. He's such an amazing director. I really need to indulge more into his films. Um, I do have quite a few of them. And I have a few sitting here that I've not watched for years. And I really need to delve back into them. Um, and, and give them a new a new watch and, um, and a new view because sometimes over years your views change like Suspiria when that came out I was not a huge fan of it I thought it was a bit too which is strange because obviously it's a witchcraft film and I love my witchcraft films but over the years it's now grown on me where opera I fell in love for the very first time I saw it and I still love it today really cool film and that is the second of my dario argento films in the argento week so we've got one more to go on friday and that is going to be what i believe to be his greatest film um, so i'll leave that to them until then check out some horror channels for me check out horror hands the horror geek man view film rs designs pizzlewell i'm the ice lord Cat Watches Horror Movies, Sarah of Horror, um, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my lad Lemon Lord. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.